Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's logo design tutorial, I will demonstrate you that how can we design this logo by using Adobe Illustrator. This logo is the combination of two elements, nut and wings. Now let's continue with the design process in Adobe Illustrator. So first of all, go to file and select new. Set the width of your page to 1920 points and height to 1080. Then click OK. First of all, select the rectangle tool and left click on the page. And you can see that a panel with the options for the width and height is appearing. Simply set the value of width to 1000 points and for the height to 550 points and press enter. And you can see that a rectangle is drawn. We doesn't need the fill, so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon and we will keep the stroke color. And if stroke color isn't appearing for you, then simply go to this menu and assign this black color. And if you want to increase the stroke width, then simply click on this drop down menu and select the value to say 4 points. Now select the selection tool and drag your rectangle at the center like this. Now select the polygon tool, hold down the shift key, then hold down your left mouse button and drag your mouse like this to draw a perfect polygon. Now if you want to differentiate between the parts then you can assign it some different color like this orange color. Then double click on this rotate tool, set the value of angle to 90 and select OK and your polygon will be rotated to 90 degrees. Then select the selection tool and now we have to place this corner of the polygon at this bottom line of the rectangle. So simply drag the polygon towards this line like this. And also we have to place this upper corner of the polygon at this line of the rectangle. For this purpose simply hold down the shift key on your keyboard then hold down your left mouse button at this node and drag it towards the line like this. Now from this stroke panel, simply set the value to 70 points and press enter. Now it doesn't need this rectangle, so select this one and press delete. Now select the ellipse tool, left click on the page and you can see that the option for the width and the height is appearing. Simply set the value of width to 250 points and for the height to also 250 points and press enter. And you can see that a perfect circle has drawn. Apply the stroke width to 20 points and press enter and also change its color to this orange color. Now we want to place this circle at the center of this polygon. For this purpose first select the selection tool then select both of these parts. Go to windows and select align. Then click on this icon which says horizontal align center and also in this one which says vertical align center like this. Then hide this menu and drag it at this position. And now we want to convert these stroke lines into solid object. For this purpose go to object, path and select outline stroke. And now we are done with the nut design. And we will continue with the wings design process. Again select the rectangle tool. Left click on the page and write the value of width to 260 and for the height to only 80 points and press enter. Again left click on the page. This time enter the value of width to 170 and keep the height to 80 and press ok. Then select the selection tool, select both of these parts, go to windows and select align. And this time click on this icon which says horizontal align left like this. Then deselect both of these parts by clicking on the white area. Now press Z on the keyboard and zoom in this area like this. Then select the direct selection tool. Left click on this rectangle. Then click on this anchor point. And you can see that a small circular icon is appearing. Simply hold down your left mouse button on this icon and drag it towards the maximum value like this. Then select this rectangle 
again select this anchor point and repeat the procedure with the icon like this now to reset the page view simply press ctrl plus zero like this now again select the rectangle tool left click on the page and this time enter the value of width to 30 points and for the height to 500 points and press enter and if you want to differentiate between the parts then we can change its color so simply go to this menu and assign it some different color like this blue color now press z on the keyboard and zoom in this area then select the selection tool and now we have to place this corner of this vertical rectangle at this corner of this polygon so simply drag this rectangle at this corner like this and to have a better visual impact simply press z on the keyboard and zoom in this area then again select the selection tool and drag it towards the required point like this now restore your page view by pressing ctrl plus zero like this and now we have to duplicate this blue rectangle for this purpose hold down the alternate key then hold down your left mouse button on this rectangle and drag it towards the right side like this now double click on this rotate tool and set the value of angle to 90 degrees and press enter now press z on the keyboard and again zoom in this area then select the selection tool and drag this rectangle at this corner like this then hold down your left mouse button at this part and drag it towards the corner like this now we doesn't need this horizontal rectangle so select it and press delete on the keyboard now select both of these parts then go to windows and select pathfinder then select merge then minimize this panel and again restore the page view with control plus zero and now we have to place this part exactly at the center or you can say the horizontal axis of this polygon so hold down the shift key and click on this polygon then go to windows and select align in the align menu if this distribute space isn't appearing on your screen you can show and hide this distribute spacing by clicking on this menu and here we have the option for the height and again if you want to show this panel then again go to this menu and select show options from the align to select align to key object and now you have to select your key object and our key object is this polygon then click on this icon which says vertical align center like this and now the wings are placed exactly at the center line of the polygon again minimize the menu and deselect both of these parts by clicking on the white area now hold down the shift key then hold down your left mouse button and drag this shape towards this rectangle like this then select both of these parts right click and select group and to duplicate this copy hold down the alternate key then hold down your left mouse button and move your mouse towards the left side of your page like this then select the reflect tool then double click on it select vertical and select ok again select the selection tool and now we have to place this corner of this blue rectangle at this corner of the polygon first press z on the keyboard and zoom in this area to have better visual then again select the selection tool and drag this part towards this corner of the polygon like this then reset the page view by control plus zero right click on this shape and select ungroup now select this rectangle and press delete also select this one right click select ungroup then select this rectangle and press delete and then select all of these parts go to pathfinder and select merge and now if you want to decrease the size then hold down the shift key then left mouse button at this handle and drag it like this then select the text tool left click on the page and write the name of the logo which is wing nut the size of the text is not visible for this purpose select the selection tool hold down the shift key then your left mouse button at one of these handles and drag them like this 
and if you want to change the font style then here we have the option I want to change the font to Gotham and I will select Gotham bold then I will drag it at this position again select the text tool and write the slogan which is websites select this text and from the dimensions I will select book or you can also say normal dimensions then select the selection tool and drag it at this position like this select all of these parts go to align then click on this option horizontal align center then minimize this panel and we are done with today's logo design tutorial you can apply different gradients or color palettes of your own choice and now you can share your thoughts about the design in the comments section that whether you liked it or not or if you want to suggest any modifications and if you think that this video helps you in some way then like and subscribe the channel thanks for watching and have a nice day